my gosh okay on top of that karmic relationship cycles okay well oh gosh oh gosh well if i knew what was going to be that type of reading okay okay guys All right. Okay, divine protection and protection against karma, karmic relationship cycles, true colors exposed, truth sets you free. Okay, guys, this is going to be general reading. Like I said, take what resonates, leave what doesn't make sense behind. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and just read these. Blinded, trapped, caged. Okay. Oh gosh, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, happy family, karmic relationship. Okay. Okay, okay. Financial success. Okay, so if you've been waiting for information about some financial stuff, um, something involving your work, um, there's going to be some kind of truth um, exposed from this. I don't know why I'm getting like, People could be taking money. There could be two types of companies fighting back and forth at the place you work. Some kind of weird problem where you work, okay? True colors exposed, truth sets you free, okay? Involving your work, financial success. Okay, so currently you're in a karmic relationship, but you want a happy family. Cycles, got to break these karmic patterns. Blinded, trapped, caged. Divine protection against karma. Okay, there's something here. What, what, what do I gotta get? Moon cycles, emotional distress, hormones, bipolar. Okay. All right. So right now your mind's a little bit in chaos. Okay. But at least your money's gonna be going good. Um... Huh. What to do on that one? All right, guys, I guess this is going to fool's gold. How appropriate that it's fool's gold. And it's, it, it just mainly comes through in your reading about your finances. All right. Okay, these two cards just flipped out. This is the Empress, the Lovers. Okay, okay, okay. Third party. Third party, third party. Third party sees going on, and there's someone that sees it in the background. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, 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 Empress, eh? Empress, eh? Right. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh. Okay. Empress, Seven of Cups. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. 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 Looks like someone's a serial cheater. Um, either that or they just like to <laughs> be in third parties. Um, the Empress is here alone. And the woman in the background looks more like the Empress than this blonde. Ew. Ew! Okay. Unhappy family. Okay, the Empress looking for all the things she wants. Uh-huh. Two of wands. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't know why I'm getting this, but look at this card. See how it's like an Ouija board talking to the dead? It looks more like a feminine hand, doesn't it? 
two candles, Moonlight, Talking to the Dead in Reverse. Okay, you might have spiritual gifts to where you can communicate with the dead, um, but this person maybe doesn't believe in that, doesn't believe in spiritual type things. Um, this is interesting. Wait, let me see this pillar real quick. There's a pillar in the background. Do you guys see that? It's like, um, I can't really make it out, but it looks like a woman and like a fancy house. Hmm. Someone's being sneaky. I don't know why I keep hearing someone's being sneaky. Okay. Hmm. Well, whatever it is they try to get away with, I mean, they got busted. They lost everything. Emperor's still looking for what she wants. Mm hmm Using spirit or intuition to make a decision. This is about being at a crossroads. God. God. All right, so we got two haters on the board. We got a red-headed bitch with black wings. See how she's trying to, what she's doing? She's trying to cast some shit on your home, like on your relationship. This is like someone sending you the evil eye, like a bitch that just enjoys being a bitch. Um, and then you got someone negative that's also a male spirit of crow. Um, oh. I can see this. This is someone who maybe ha is experimenting with dark magic. Um, I don't know why this came through though, but because it's in the reverse, nothing that these two people are doing is coming to you. And you notice how there's like three little, like, what is that? Like on her shoulder, like whatever she tries to cast towards you, like it comes back, okay? So whatever they try to do, and see, I see this person getting into dark magic, trying to get into magic, but they don't know what the hell they're doing, okay? And they don't even realize that this person is, like, already controlling them. <laughs> wow. Okay, one of wands. This is about getting something started. This is about teamwork. So, um, word of advice, there's a man and a female working against you. They're lovers. Yeah. You know, your worth and value, you are the way you aren't getting what you needed or what you deserved. Um, but these people are just like doing evil eyes, like trying to, I see candle work here. They're trying to light candles, trying to do spells. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny because look, she's got the light and all these people are like dark black winged figures. And they're trying to do this dark black magic shit. But she, see all this red in the bed? She's already got this dude brainwashed, okay? I don't know who this is, guys. I don't know who you are. I don't know if this is going to resonate. It's obviously not going to resonate for all of you. This is the Empress, okay? This is the Empress in the background catching this dude cheating, okay? Ten of Pentacles, losing everything. Losing partnerships, losing family, friends, money. Um because you weren't satisfied having to be forced to walk away because you weren't being treated fairly you got divine knowledge on what was going on by spirits you were using your ouija board tarot cards angels divine messages whatever to find out what happened um this person got turned better better and petty and jealous about it so they're gonna be your enemy now so just heads up this chick that like it looks like a third party situation like if this chick stole your dude or if this dude, like, stole your chick, whatever, they're going to get karma because this person's just using them. They're using sex magic, okay? They know a little bit about black magic, but they only know about sex magic. Usually people, like, who force you to have, like, intimacy, like, on their period and stuff, that's blood magic. Um, and so they have, like, more control over you, okay? It's just, like, just forewarning. Also, if they're getting you to light candles, do seances, participate in dark magic ceremonies, just know that 
it's actually going against you, okay? The Ten of Pentacles in reverse means everything you try to do to this person, it's going to come back on you tenfold, okay? So if you're trying to sabotage their money, if you're trying to, you know, talk bad about them, or just, like, think it's funny to, like, say you want to be with this person and then go to your best friend and then, like, sleep with them or whatever, like, whatever they do they're going to get karma for it. And it's going to be tenfold. And what this karma is, okay, this is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. This is the Ten of Pentacles down here. This picture, it's supposed to be the happiest card in the deck, but it came in reverse. So this is like ultimate, like, betrayal, like against your family. Like your family could go against you, could go against your relationship, may not accept it. Um, you may not have any money. You'll be always finding yourself broke. You can never get along. The relationship is constant fighting, arguing, using alcohol or substances to cope with one another. Um, your home's going to be a very icy, cold, miserable, burdensome looking place. It's not going to be happy. Okay. So just know, okay. If you're the Empress, this dude, okay, this dude wasn't even worth being an option, okay? That's coming through really clearly. You see how, wow, wow. I'm also getting, like, this person might have slept with this person just because they thought they had more money. Like, I don't know why that's coming through, but that's actually kind of hilarious. Because look at the Empress over here. Like, she's got flowers. She's got silk bed sheets. She's got, oh, pff, like, literally, like, Wow. 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 Major fuckboy vibes. Major evil bitch from hell turns stupid boy into petty evil dude that... <laughs> it's not even gonna matter because I see... See, there's, there's two hands. There's like a feminine hand and a masculine hand. This is them working together to try to hurt somebody, okay? Like, wow. And whatever they're doing, it's coming back tenfold onto them. Wow. Like, instant karma. Like, okay, you might notice, like, like if this person starts talking about you, they could just be, even be driving. And if they just start talking shit about you in the road, and, like, all of a sudden they're pulled over by a cop. Like, instant karma like that. Like, crazy, like, divine protection type thing. All right, guys. Well, let me see what else. <laughs> Alright, Spirit, show me the cards I need to see for these two evil people here doing candle magic. Oh! Ah! Okay, guys. Bride in a cage, girl! Oh! What did I just say? Okay. Oh my god, guys. The immediate karma, bro. Okay, so, like, if this person cheated on you with somebody else and you caught it because of your spiritual gifts or whatever, okay, so now they're in a relationship with someone that's, like, really toxic, okay? And they're being forced to, like, commit to this person, which it could be, like, this could mean, like, a trick pregnancy. They could, like, force you to marry them, um, getting child support on you, um, forcing you to pay... Um, bride in a cage. It, this is like, like, think of a bride in a cage. It's just, it's just what it means. It's just a trophy to them. You don't matter as a person. Like, see how, like, this girl is, like, dead? Wow. Bride in a cage. Wow. This <laughs> this dude literally might have like married like Satan reincarnate as a woman. That's creepy. I don't know why I got that. That's really creepy. Okay. Envious gluttony. Okay, yeah, this person, this female is like super jealous of you, like very envious, very gluttonous, kind of like just dark minded, like takes what they want, doesn't care about the repercussions, doesn't care that she's covered in blood on her dress, like, she's kind of, like, I don't know. 
and I don't know why I'm getting this, but they might have just stole, like, they might have took your boyfriend or they might have tried to steal your relationship or sabotage the relationship just out of envy, just out of just jealousy. And so their karma is, they're forever going to be a bride in the cage. They might not, like, they may not even love them. It might just be all for looks. It might just be for, like, they could even just be marrying for child support. Could be tripping you into, like, trick pregnancy. Wow, that's weird. I got another forgetting oneself. So the divine masculine here, they're forgetting who they are. They don't know who they are. They're playing a role. They're trying to fit in. They're trying to make people think that they're not someone... <laughs> That could be like if someone's pretending like they don't have emotions, they don't, like they're a strong man, you know, they might perceive themselves as looking tough, but really it makes them look kind of like uh, dark and sociopathic when you don't have emotions for other people, you don't have empathy for the way you treat others. Parasite. Yeah, this person is going to literally rot this, this dude's brain out. Okay, so... Don't feel bad for losing them. These two people, like, deserve each other, okay? They're gonna literally be, like, mirrors of each other, each other's dark. Hmm. Hmm. I got peaceful on Mom Thorns. I almost didn't want to put it down, but there was a message that came through about... This is gonna be a really big lesson for you, okay? Whoever the Divine Masculine is. This is gonna teach you how to move within chaos because this person okay this person here kind of a little bit cray cray okay not gonna lie okay i want to pull on my card okay perchance to dream this is about thinking you're better than you actually are okay like presenting yourself to be like so if you're a playboy and you're sleeping around with a bunch of options, you might perceive yourself as a king, as the man or whatever, but really inside who your true nature is, it might be this person, okay? And you may you, you won't be able to play this role forever, okay? And maybe it's easier for this person to live within their ego, the divine masculine, and pretend that they're all these great things because they know eventually they're going to be an old man and they're not going to, you know, have fun. So, um... It's kind of shallow-minded, I'm not going to lie, not very mature, um, forgetting who they are, like, I don't know, like, I kind of read this as regret, like, getting stuck in a relationship with someone that is evil, like, literally look at this girl. She's all in red, she's got, like, red hair, she's got black roots, black wings, She's got, like, black eye makeup, dark lipstick, like. And you see how she's casting some evil shit on homes? She's like a home wrecker. She's like someone who tries to sabotage other people's relationships. She tries to get on other people's marriages. Like, that type of person. That's who that person is, okay? Just so you were aware of what you signed up for. Well, I guess fool's gold. That's all I got for you. That was the weirdest reading. Okay. I guess I should pull charms for you, eh? Mm, I kind of don't want to pull charms for you because I just didn't like that. Fool's gold was a creepy reading, man. So we got the voodoo doll, and he's got, like, something around his solar plexus. This is about confidence. Um, so maybe the... Okay, so this is what's coming through. If you guys know anything about um, karmic relationships or, like, twin flames, soulmates, okay? This person was maybe in an opportunity where they could have been with their soulmate, but they just chose to go with a karmic because it was easier. Because if you choose to go with someone like who uses you for like, 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 like 3D reasons like sex, money, you know, just to say they have somebody type of stuff, like stupid reasons, like materialistic type reasons, like instead of working on themselves and see how they're a little mischievous little devil like kind of mischievous looking little dude right 
But instead of working on himself and like trying to be a better person, try to be nicer to people, try to treat people with respect, um, they decided to just go into a karmic relationship because it's easier to not have to deal with like maybe childhood wounds or maybe certain beliefs they have about themselves of why they don't deserve someone that would genuinely love them. Um, only that person knows and it has an inner reflection of why they're like that. This is also a voodoo doll. Um, and this is your solar plexus, okay? And also the root chakra, okay? The root chakra is red. And that's like your sexual, like, organs and like your stomach area. Um, just a little warning about that. If you're not too sure with someone you're with, um, just like, stay safe. Um, I'm also getting like, I don't know why with voodoo dolls, you inflict pain on people. And I kind of feel like this person got in a relationship with someone who's going to just inflict pain on them like a voodoo doll. And that's the only way they're going to grow and evolve and learn is they had to choose the hard way, unfortunately. Okay, this is like earth energy. They're divinely protected. This person could have... known an earth sign but they're divinely protected the butterfly charm this is about transformation horse this is about like um it's, it reminds me of the knight of rods in tarot he comes in on a horse real fast impulsive like makes a bunch of promises he can't keep and then he's out before you know it okay kind of in and out of your life, never stable. We got the lock and key. This is about secrets. This is about keeping things hidden, um, not trusting, um, hiding things. Um, steer, it's like a steer on a boat, um, the wheel of a turning ship. This is like taking a hard left or a hard right, okay? So you're just steering your boat normal and then one day you run into someone, and let's just use this as an example. Okay, you run into someone over here that's an earth sign and you run over here there's a water sign, okay? And you're like, oh, I'm just drifting and drifting and drifting. And you know, this one might be closer to you and you're like, oh yeah, it's not bad. It's protected. It's got, you know, grass and... But then you're like, oh, it's like you take a hard turn somewhere. It's like you got this big, beautiful sign, like, yo, holy, like it looks like a halo. It's like, yo, go this way. But you're like, no, I'm going to go this way to something that is so small that makes no sense. Um, This is kind of just like a, I don't know what the symbol is, to be honest. It's just kind of like a, it looks like almost like a wallpaper type symbol. It's kind of like a corn. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting like some kind of symbol that might mean something for you. Music, you guys could be talented in music or you could just, you know, really like music. You connect to others through music. Wing charm, you could be an air sign, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, dragonflies. Dragonflies are symbols of good luck. Um, that might be a sacred symbol for you when you see a dragonfly. It might be someone passed on trying to communicate with you. Um, let's see, last charm. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> a series of three things that just fell over. Notice how I said this guy looks like a little mischievous dude.
And this coin is a snake. Okay. So this this bro was a little snaky. Not gonna lie. Little snaky snake. You know, hiding in the grass, waiting to strike at the ankles. Like a little son of a bitch. Okay, well. Well, what do we, where do we go from that? Okay, well, guys, all right. Show me the cards in your sea spirit for this toxic relationship that they're in. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we got loss of good luck on the top of the deck. Um, let's just draw a few cards. Long-term stability, good foundation, healing heart chakra, rest, nurture. So this is talking about healing your heart. This also talks about like anything that's ever hurt you, like stunted, like how much you're able to love someone. Like it could go all the way to your childhood. It could be from your mother, your brother, your sister, your aunt, your grandma, like Anything that made you feel not good enough, it could even be past relationships. Like, you need to heal your heart. Astral projections, dreams. I see you in my dreams, subconscious mind, astral plane. You could contact this person or see this person in your dreams. Also, good luck. Harvest, be patient. Your seeds will begin to grow in time. Okay, guys. I don't know. I don't know what that means. That might mean something for one of you guys out there, but... release anytime you are possessed by an emotion that you cannot control know that it does not belong to you someone is sending negative energy towards you imagine that negative emotion is muddy water pouring down through your hands legs and feet and into the earth or take that emotion into your hands and release it like a hawk let it fly we tend to hold on to fears and negative energy in an addictive way Release your fears and let power come into you. Create a welcoming void within the, through the power of release. Okay. So like, I also get like, if you got in a really toxic relationship with someone and you like, like, for example, if you had a choice between two people and you chose wrong, like it's time to accept that you make mistakes. You don't know everything. You need to release like all this like pent up negative frustration um and like release your fears and like start surrendering to your own inner power like only when you start to like heal yourself and like fix you can you fix the world so like i said like start with yourself like you never are gonna regret doing work on yourself ever because i still am doing work on myself and i've been doing work for a very long time and I don't ever regret just, like, being alone. Um, you know, meditation, reading, drawing, making music, painting, like, reading tarot cards, lighting candles, whatever it is that you do, like, have something that's just for you. And, like, start treating yourself like you would, like, your kid. Like, you know what I mean? Like, start treating yourself with enough self-love to heal and release okay because maybe that's also part of the problem is you might have like toxic patterns that you fall into um toxic cycles sabotaging type things and it's all because of some kind of inner like subconscious thing you're doing